you know, we live in an age of enlightenment. We live in an age of rationality. We live in an age when we think, when we talk about things that are real, about things that we can see and that we can touch. And so things like demons and the occult are dirty subjects in the modern age. Things like demons and the occult are things of fairy tales and myths and horror stories. And yet, when we look through the pages of the Bible, we see that demons and the occult are things that are very real. We see that demons can actually possess people and that demons can actually hurt human beings. And this isn't a message that people like to talk about in today's day and age. You know, it's, it's a scary subject and it's something that we'd rather forget. It's something that we'd rather not talk about. And yet demons and the occult are very real. And that's why it's important that we don't play games with things that are of the occult. That's why it's important that we don't go to psychic readings, why we don't play with tarot cards, why we don't play with things like Ouija boards. Because these are things that open up the door to the occult. They're things that open up the door to demonic forces. And these are certain things that we don't want to play with. We don't want to mess with demons. We don't want to mess with opening up ourselves to the realm of spiritual darkness. But demons in the occult are very interesting. You know, they're very fascinating to watch in our movies. They're very fascinating for us to think about because they give us a nice thrill. But there's a danger to them. There's a danger to the occult. And the thing is, is that the occult and demons are, are very intoxicating for us because they, add, they offer us a taste of the supernatural. They offer us a taste of something that is tangible that we can touch, something supernatural that we can get our hands on, and something that can freak us out if it gets beyond our control, but we try and tell ourselves that these things are part of our control, when in fact they're not. Demon possession is something that's very scary. And when, and when you play games with the occult, you can open yourself up to demon possession. You can open yourself up to being inhabited by demons. And this is something that's very scary. This is something that you don't want to have happen to yourself. And this is something that you don't want to have happen in your life and it's not something that you want to have happen to those that you love or care about. But unfortunately it's something that friends of mine have had happen to them where they have told stories of um, levitating because of the demons that were a part of them. Um, this is something that multiple of my friends have talked about having demons in them that cause them to levitate. and. I'm not the kind of person that thinks that every story of every demon possession is real. However, there are certainly episodes of demonic possession that are real. And we should take that seriously. And we should watch out for any cases. And when we open up our hearts to the truth of God's Word as it's been revealed through the Bible. We can see that there is a hope in Jesus' name to get 
delivered from the demons that are real in this world. And through the power of Jesus Christ, we can overcome the demons and we can overcome the occult. So even if you've dabbled in the occult, I don't want you to think that it's too late because you can go to Jesus. You can repent. You can find truth in Christ. But demons are not the kind of things that you need to keep playing games with. If you're a psychic or if you go to psychics, you need to repent. If you play with tarot cards or if you look at horoscopes or if you do any of these things that seem silly, that seem goofy, but the fact is that it's a lot more serious than you realize. It's a lot more serious than we could ever realize this side of eternity. And I would encourage you that if you're playing games with the occult, that you would repent, that you would make your peace with Jesus who loves you, who died on the cross to save you from these types of sins, and that you can believe in Jesus and that you can put your heart in him and he can deliver you through the power of his resurrection. It's my prayer that you would take advantage of this deliverance that Jesus offers you through the cross and that you would find mercy in his name. My prayers are with you and I pray that you would find deliverance from the occult if you have found yourself trapped in its snares. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good day. God bless you.